I'm so excited. I've got the initial results back from my friend going and getting a Vizia after testing a topical estriol product for just five weeks so far. We decided to go get an, an, another Vizia so that we could find out, you know, just how it's coming along. I will definitely be sharing that with you here in just a little while in this video. Today's video is going to be about estrogen and its effect on our skin. We're going to talk about why estrogen is so important to our skin, what it does for our skin, and then what happens when we lose it. And then we're going to talk about some options for what we can do to mitigate what happens when we go into menopause. We have so many options at our fingertips now that there is absolutely no reason why we shouldn't be producing collagen, elastin, hydration, why we shouldn't have thicker skin, why we shouldn't have a great barrier function as we go through our 50s, 60s, and beyond. We absolutely have all of the tools. We just need to have the information so that we can make some good decisions for our health and our skin. So here's the deal. We have estrogen receptors on virtually every single cell in our skin. And what that means is that we've got these receptors that are like locks, right? And estrogen is the key to that lock. And when that key fits into that lock, there are messages that are sent out that basically say, make collagen or make elastin or make the things that keep our skin hydrated, which are glycosaminoglycans, which are hyaluronic acid and the like. Make the things that keep our skin thick. Make the things that help our skin barrier well. The bad news is when we enter into menopause, we lose 99% of our estrogen. We stop making it, it just goes away. We're no longer having children, so we no longer make any estrogen. Now, that's obviously a natural process, and frankly, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just the natural way of life, just like we entered into adolescence and puberty, we're entering into menopause. What I think is really, really important to know is that that estrogen is so important and vital to so many processes in our body that it is not about vanity. It is not about um, trying to change nature or anything like that. It's really about creating a really healthy environment for ourselves on the inside and on the outside. We're living a lot longer, as we all know, so there's a good chance that most of us are going to live 30, 40, 50 years past menopause. And in that time, we want to keep our bones as healthy as possible, our heart as healthy as possible, certainly our skin as healthy as possible, our eyeballs. I mean, everywhere there are estrogen receptors. Now, we're going to scratch the surface of hormone replacement therapy. I have a corresponding blog to this video that I hope you will check out because it is going to go way more in depth all kinds of graphics, all kinds of great information. There will be sources and links and just all kinds of really great information for you if this is, if you're on this journey along with me. And if you are older, you are past menopause, there's going to be some really valuable information for you as well. So we just talked about all of those estrogen receptors and what they do for us. Now we lose all that estrogen and now those receptors start to go dormant. Some of them aren't even paying attention anymore. What happens when we bring that estrogen back topically? Well, good things happen. So when you use an estrogen topically on your skin, first of all, it stays where you put it. So if you use a topical estrogen on your face, then it doesn't go anywhere other than the skin on your face. It's not a systemic estrogen. And that can be looked at like a pro and a con. A pro because in that area, in that skin, it's going to feed those estrogen receptors. They're going to start to do all of the things that they did before they lost their estrogen. They're going to start doing it again. They're going to start making collagen again. They're going to start making elastin again and forming it in a way that gives us that bounce back. They're going to start producing things that are going to hydrate our skin. They're going to help to thicken our skin and improve our barrier function so that we can retain some of that hydration so that we can look more youthful and glowy and luminous. All of that stuff can start happening again when we apply topical estrogen. Now, the negative about it just staying where you put it is that there's other parts of your body that are probably starved for estrogen and wanting to have their receptors fulfilled with the estrogen. Well, that's not gonna happen because it's only as skin deep as the place where you put it. Okay, so now that we know about the role that estrogen plays in our skin and we know what happens when we lose the estrogen and we know what can happen when we add the estrogen back in topically, let's talk about communication 
communication with our healthcare providers. Unfortunately, under the last couple of videos that I did, um, we had a little bit of conversation around the topic of HRT, around the topic of talking to your doctor, etc. And overwhelmingly, I there was a message from women that was, my doctor won't talk to me about this. My doctor has said no. My doctor told me that I had to find another doctor if I wanted HRT. I got a lot of those kind of messages in the last couple of months since starting to talk about this topic. It's one of those things that's kind of mind blowing that our actual doctors aren't willing to talk about this topic or they aren't educated enough on the topic or they're really just averse to going there with a woman. And so for that, there is a real big need for another option as far as being able to have a frank and informative conversation with a healthcare provider who is willing to listen to you, willing to listen about your symptoms and willing to consider giving you HRT or topical estrogen replacement. And that is where my alloy comes in. The way that I discovered them was through their skincare product called M4. This was just at the very beginning of my kind of interest in menopause skincare and my interest in topical hormones. I was really just down a rabbit hole and I found them and I started to research the company a bunch and what I found was basically they are an online medical provider. So there are actual doctors of course on staff. There are menopause experts on staff and what I found was something that fills a need in our society right now and that is doctors who are knowledgeable who are willing to talk to women about their hormone health and have informative informative conversations that are full of truth and not misinformation so I knew that I wanted to do a video talking about my alloy I got a hold of the m4 product which is their estriol topical estriol cream and it's exactly what we talked about it is a topical estrogen estriol cream that is only going to feed those estrogen receptors in the place where you put this cream. Now you all know that I do 800 million things. I am definitely the worst when it comes to being a test case because I test so many things. Yes, I get Botox. Uh, yes, I've had plastic surgery. I've done all of this stuff. So I knew that while I definitely want to use an estriol cream because I am absolutely a candidate for it since I am perimenopausal, I knew I needed to find a friend who who was a better test subject so that I could bring you some kind of, you know, test, some kind of anecdotal evidence that maybe this stuff either works or doesn't. Enter in my friend Ange. Now I shared a little bit of this on Instagram a couple months ago, but then also I shared this in my video last week when I initially kind of gave a sneak peek of the M4 cream. We went in and did a Vizia on her and it was about six weeks ago. And that next day she started the M4 cream. Now she's been very compliant. So it's been about six weeks. The only time that she missed, she said was over Memorial Day weekend. She said she didn't use it for four days. So we have six weeks minus about four days. And we decided that we were gonna go back in and do another Vizia and just see if there was any initial results, if we had any, you know, any movement in her numbers when it comes to her Vizia scan. I did not take before and afters, like true good old before and afters, because honestly, before and afters are so subjective. You can have different lighting, you can have barely a different angle, all of those kind of things. And the entire quality of the before and after becomes uh, in question. You just, it's very, very difficult to get a good before and after when you are, you know, a one woman show on your own and you're not a camera expert. So I thought I'm gonna leave it all to the Vizia and it's in a controlled setting. We're doing exactly the same everything before. We even did the same time of day and we did the same face wash prior to, the same prep for it. You know, obviously she has nothing on her skin either time. The whole thing was exactly the same. And of course it's the same Vizia in the same office. So all things are the same. And what we found was that she actually 
went backwards one year. Now, I know that that may not sound like it's a monumental thing, but her true skin age, the first time we did this, which was about six weeks ago, was 53, and she was 53. So she was kind of holding her own, right? When we went back and we did her next Vizia, her true skin age was 52, and of course she's still 53. So she went backwards one year. Now, a bunch of her stats have improved. She's improved in her redness. She's improved in her brown spots. She also improved in her UV spots and she improved in her pores. I mean, several different parameters where she made a, a pretty significant improvement and some others where it stayed about the same. I am just so impressed with that trajectory especially given the fact that because she is 53 years old, I know where her estrogen levels are headed. I know what the trajectory of her insides, I know what's going on. She is headed towards menopause. She's not in menopause yet, but she is certainly in a decline of estrogen, which means she's in a decline of collagen. She's in a decline of elastin. She's definitely getting drier as at, month by month. It's This is the time when things are headed the other direction direction pretty rapidly and and that's just science so for her to go backwards one year I was really over the moon I thought that is so great now a little bit of background she has had no plastic surgery she has had no injectables whatsoever no fillers no Botox she's had no lasers she has had nothing she had an absolutely simple simple skincare routine Prior to this, she wore sunscreen, she wore some moisturizer, you know, it, it washed her face, of course. It was pretty simple. And all we changed was we added in that M4 cream. We didn't change anything else about her skincare routine, and this was the result of that. So I'm really, really um, encouraged by these results. And I would encourage you, if you are interested in talking to a doctor about menopause if you have if you've hit a roadblock when it comes to a practitioner or if you just don't have anyone to talk to you you can't find a doctor I want you to know about this online service I think it's super important for this message to get out there that this exists that you can go online you can fill out a pretty simple form and you can actually get care by somebody who knows what they're talking about when it comes to menopause and it's not just about your skin it's about your internal health as well they have a whole side of their website for that. I plan to take advantage of that myself. I am using the M4 cream, but I'm just using it on my neck. Like I said, I didn't do the Vizia because I test so many things that I know that I'm not a good test subject for it. I do feel like my neck is a little bit more hydrated, but that's just me feeling that way. I don't have any evidence of that. But the evidence for my friend is pretty compelling. And the fact that I actually have, you know, I actually have proof. And we're doing this for an entire year. I'm going to be following along with her for a whole year. We're going to do quarterly Vizias just to kind of see how it goes along. And that's really, really encouraging because what we're doing is we're adding that estrogen back into her skin, feeding those receptors, and it seems to be working and heading the right direction. Really, really encouraged by that. So anyway, I'm going to leave all of the information about my alloy in the description box. I highly encourage you to head over to my blog. There is so much more information about all of this on my blog. There are books that I recommend like Estrogen Matters, such a fantastic book. I, I recommend it so highly and it's on Audible. It's also on CD if you want it. And then of course it's in you know hardback form but it's probably the best book I've read in my entire life. The most profound, aside from dermal needling, that was probably the, the other book that's the most you know impactful on my life. Estrogen Matters really breaks down the unfortunate misinformation and um, just, just the unfortunate situation that happened with the Women's Health Initiative, which basically set off about 20 years of bad information when it comes to hormones and caused a whole generation of women to unfortunately not 
not get their potential because of the fear of hormones. So I highly encourage a read of that book or a listen of that book. But there's other resources in the blog if you're interested. And I dive into the nuances of all of the things that estrogen can do for our skin. This information is golden. I have to say that as I was driving to the doctor's office with my friend, I went and picked her up. I said about HRT and she said, what is HRT? And she is my best friend. <laughs> She's 53. And so, of course, that started this conversation about HRT. I, I said it's hormone replacement therapy. And we started talking about it. And I thought, oh, my gosh, that's insane. Now, part of that is because I'm 49 right now. And this has not been on my radar either. So I've never brought up the conversation with her. And I thought if she doesn't know what HRT even is, and she's 53 years old, and she's my best friend, then there's got to be a lot of people that don't know. And it's time that we talk to each other. And we know about all of this information, we need to be armed with the truth about hormones, hormone replacement, about longevity, and how it can affect our life in such a positive way. Anyway, I could talk about this all day long. And I would love to talk to you about it in the comment section. Please leave any questions that you have or anything like that. I am not going to be giving any medical advice, but I will highly, highly, highly recommend you over to my alloy because you can get medical advice there. If you do not know where to go to talk to somebody about HRT, to talk to somebody about topical estrogen, if you do not know or your doctor won't talk to you about it, this is a resource for you. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a really wonderful day. I hope that this helped you in some way and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.